Hi guys, I am Mohammad Ghassan and I am going to discuss about my project Image Processing GUI using MATLAB. Open the MATLAB command window. In that, you type command guide. It will open a pop-up asking for which template you want to open. So click on blank GUI default. Open. It will open a design layout. Will increase the size of the layout there are certain tools which will be helpful for designing a GUI so first we'll click on button group so this certain it allows us to group certain functionality buttons so this is our first group which we'll use for simple coding and this button group we'll use for advanced coding to show the output, we need some axis. So we'll click on axis and this will be our output window, which will show the modified or processed image. So this is the basic one. Now we have to insert buttons. So in this OK icon, that is nothing but push buttons. You can just click and drop it wherever you want. So you can drop n number of push buttons and you can place it wherever you want you can increase or decrease the size and to do the changes you just have to double click on those buttons there will be number of options to make the required changes we'll change first background color and uh, background color will keep as red so color has changed so I'll be highlighting on the required changes. You can go through all the characteristics of inspector. So foreground color is nothing but those text color. So yellow or white you can give. So color has changed. Similarly, the important is string. String is nothing but the written text about the button. It will be helpful for user to tell what functionality it will do. So here we'll use upload picture. Similarly, when you change string, you don't forget to change the tag. Tag is nothing but it is the function name. If we keep it as push button, the same function name will be there in code. But we for better readability, we have to change and you have to follow the rules of identifiers that is you can't initiate a tag name using a number or spaces are not allowed and underscores are allowed upload picture so required changes are done and you make sure that visibility is on if this is not on in the output window you won't see that button it will be hidden so this changes we have done so cross it then the same chain operations you can perform on push buttons change the background color and if you want extra buttons you can place it here and to change the button group background you just have to double click on that change the background color then title you can change instead of button group will give simple operation group so the name has changed similarly you can follow in second button group then we'll go for saving so when you have selected the required number of buttons and layout you have designed so you just have to save we'll save it as sample test program the file extension will be dot fig so save it when you save the editor window will open asking for the code so here functions are created for particular push buttons if you have changed the tag name that upload picture we have changed it to upload picture so that upload picture tag name will be there so it will be helpful for user to write code in upload picture Similar to that one. If it is push button 4, so it is little confusing. So it's better you always give a tag name. After tag name, we have to write our code here. I have written all the codes I'll be sharing in the below link. Otherwise, you can mention your Gmail ID in comments. 
I will be forwarding you the required code and files. So I have written the sample GUI IP code. There are total around 13 functions I have written. The same GUI also I have created. So this is the GUI I have created. The same thing you can follow. Otherwise you can add some more features and functions to perform. So this is our output window and upload picture and these other functionalities. And I have given the reset function. So when you up when you run the window, this is our editor window for GUI. So this is the code I have written for that. When you run, there will be output window similar to GUI. It won't allow you to make changes, but it will show you the output window. This is the output. When I click on upload picture, it will ask for picture in JPG format. So this picture is uploaded to our output screen. Now you can do whichever functions you want to do. Now I want to complement my image that was rotated clockwise. So it is rotated clockwise. When I press reset, it will go back to the. It is not necessary that after doing some operations, you have to click on reset. My code is written in such a way that for particular operation, it will take the original image. So it will not take the which if I have take rotated clockwise, if I do RGB noise filter, it will not take the rotated picture. So if you want to do rotated picture, that also that option also you can do in MATLAB. So first I will do RGB to gray. So this is the gray picture. If you want the little darker version, you can use gray adjust function. So it will be get adjusted. So this is RGB to gray, gray adjustment, binary image in ones and zeros, then histogram. Histogram, this is entire histogram of adjusted one. Adjusted is nothing but the dark red is nothing but original histogram. You can see there are some peaks on the edges and in the middle. If you use adjust histogram, it will be adjusted to a single level so the picture quality will get increased so if you see histogram adjust picture so this is the adjusted picture if you see the original you can make out the difference the adjusted picture looks clear and bright so if you see the original histogram if you want to see close this one in histogram callback if I comment and then run this code so I will just show you the original histogram of our picture so upload picture the same picture I will select now histogram so this is the original picture histogram you can see the spikes those are nothing but color errors and in advanced processing I have clicked complement image and clockwise anti-clockwise I have showed edge detection all the white dots tells the which is the ending point so in image this is the hair so white color is nothing but ending of hair so and if your image whichever received image has some noise for now I have considered RGB noise in salt and pepper format so if i insert rgb noise to original picture so there will be red green blue dots this picture is not clear so if you want to filter it out you can use rgb noise filter for that so see this is the filtered out object uh, output so rgb noise insert then noise filter so we'll just quickly go through the code. So in the function, whichever function histogram it has asked. So first you have to get the data, whichever input we have given in .jpg format. That data you give it to a hist. First convert it to gray. Then use function I am hist. I am hist is nothing but for taking the original histogram. If you use I am adjust. It will adjust the histogram as I as we saw the leveled one. Similarly, I have written 13 functions, different different one. 
you can write even more functions and you can perform a good GUI for your project. So the last one is adjust histogram. So all these functions I will be uploading in the description. You can go through that. By the way, this was my first project on YouTube. Uh, if it was helpful or if you have any feedback, you can mention below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.